Well, here we go. As Christmas and New Year's approaches, millions of Americans across the country are starting their holiday travel. AAA says air travel this holiday season could be busier than pre-pandemic air travel. Uh, one trade group expects nearly 3 million passengers will fly during the busiest days through the holidays. That's up 16% from last year. That's a lot. So what will it be like to travel this year? CBS News senior transportation correspondent Chris Van Cleve is at LAX. Boy, that's a busy airport. Good morning, Chris. Anne-Marie, good morning. Well, expected to be one of the busiest in the country this Christmas and New Year's travel season. Look, the weather, particularly here in Southern California, is frightful. We've got heavy rain. That's going to be a disruptor primarily on the roads. Talking to the airlines, they feel cautiously optimistic. They can build on the success of Thanksgiving and execute a, a very uh, smooth holiday travel season, despite the fact that it could be a very wet holiday season across the country. And this is really crunch time today and tomorrow when you will see millions and millions of people filling the airports throughout the day. It was the week before Christmas and all through the airport, a potential record number of creatures are stirring all about. The Tong family is off to ski in Montana. We have not had any flight delays yet or cancellations yet. With sugar plum dreams of on-time departures, despite wet weather across the nation, dancing in their heads. We decided to fly a little earlier this year, not cut it so close, fly a couple days early. The airlines expect more than 39 million passengers during the two-week winter holiday, up 16 percent from last year. We think it's going to be another record. In fact, United CEO Scott Kirby. Unless there's really, really bad weather, uh, the holidays will, will go well across the board, both at United and for the industry at large. Do you then surge people so that you're, you're ready for that? Uh, so we staff up and we have more spare reserve. Reserves are mostly for flight crews, so pilots and flight attendants, uh, to accommodate anything that happens during those peak demand periods. We've seen dramatically improved results compared to a year ago. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. Do you feel that going into the holidays, the airlines are, there's a better robustness to to their abilities to handle a disruption? I've seen the airlines step up after we put a lot of pressure on them last year, both in terms of their customer service commitments and in terms of their performance. With rain already falling in California and storms expected in the south, the holiday may be anything but a delight for drivers. AAA expects nearly 104 million will hit the road this year. Liliana Ramos is heading from LA to the Bay Area. A lot of drivers that are not taking really good precautions, and um, we just saw a car hydroplane and smack into the island. Particularly with the bad weather and the big crowds at airports throughout the day, leaving yourself some extra time is smart, particularly if you're flying out in the early mornings, and especially at some of the busiest airports. We're talking Atlanta, Denver, Dallas here in Los Angeles. Those are your four busiest airports, according to Hopper, this holiday season, Anne Marie. Um, so we know how some of the airlines are preparing. Is TSA all geared up for this holiday rush? You know, it's sort of an all hands on deck period. Uh, they have pretty consistently handled the crowds. Uh, we've been seeing travel above pre pandemic levels at several points this year. You look to Thanksgiving, where they had their busiest day at checkpoints ever. Um, certainly, it, th this is that time where if you're a pre-check flyer, you may notice uh, a difference compared to the people in the standard security line. Th those wait times can get into the 20, 30 minute range, which is another reason why we talk about leaving yourself some extra time. Um, when the airports are at their busiest times, uh, you don't want to be the person who shows up 45 minutes before their flight and hit a 40 minute security line because that dash through the airport to a window seat in the terminal is on no one's Christmas list. No, I just describe it as thrilling, um, if you must know. So that brings me to my informal poll. Uh, Chris Van Cleve, are you one of those people? Because you travel a lot. Are you showing up four or five hours before your flight? Like I think is unnecessary, but as my dad says, he's never missed a flight. Or are you a 90-minute-ish person? 
I, if I'm not checking a bag, I will be at the airport uh, about an hour before boarding. Okay. So that ends up being about 90 minutes, 100 minutes before the flight. Um, you know, but I also I have pre-check and clear and all the ways to try to cut down the wait times as much as possible. Right. Uh, I am not somebody who enjoys sprinting. <laughs> through the terminal. It's been a <laughs> point of contention with some friends who I usually travel with. Oh, I, I will imagine. leave you behind, bottom line. <laughs> that sounds good. TSA says at least two hours for domestic flights. Chris, thank you very much.